In peritoneal dialysis, or in kidney slang, PD, the inside lining of your own belly acts as a natural filter. Wastes are taken out by means of a cleansing fluid called dialysate, which is washed in and out of your belly in cycles. A soft plastic tube called a catheter is placed in your belly by surgery. This catheter makes it possible for you to easily connect to a special tubing, which allows two to three quarts to flow into your belly. It takes about 10 minutes for the dialysate to fill your belly. What happens next is an amazing process. The lining of your belly, called the peritoneum, acts as a natural filter. It lets the wastes and extra fluid in your blood pass through it into the cleansing fluid. At the same time, the lining of your belly holds back the important things your body needs, like red blood cells and nutrients. To do its job, the dialysate must stay in your belly for a few hours or more, depending on your body size and how much waste has to be removed. This time is called your dwell time. This is where things can get a little different, depending on which type of PD you're on. There are two types of peritoneal dialysis. The major ones are continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis, or CAPD, where you do the exchanges yourself three to four times a day for about 30 to 40 minutes each, or automated peritoneal dialysis, APD, where a machine called a cycler does the exchanges automatically while you sleep. You may also need to do one exchange during the day if your kidney function decreased further. Okay, so after the dwell time, what happens next? Well, with CAPD, when the filling is done, the catheter is capped so it doesn't leak. After your dwell time, you drain the cleansing fluid from your body into an empty bag. Then you just throw it out. You then manually repeat the in and out process, called an exchange, a number of times during the day using fresh dialysate. With APD, the cycling machine exchanges for you while you sleep. The type of peritoneal dialysis that is best for you depends on your personal choice and your medical condition. Your doctor will help you to choose the one that is best for you. Let's look at the pros and cons about being on peritoneal dialysis. Some doctors feel that CAPD and APD have several benefits when compared to hemodialysis. With continuous dialysis, you can control extra fluid more easily, and this may reduce stress on the heart and blood vessels. This also allows you to maintain your current lifestyle. However, there are some people for whom peritoneal dialysis may not be appropriate. The abdomen or belly of some people particularly those who are morbidly obese or those with multiple prior abdominal surgeries, may make peritoneal dialysis treatments difficult or impossible. Peritonitis, infection of the abdomen, is an occasional complication, although should be infrequent with appropriate precautions. When making a decision about the type of treatment, you should take into consideration that peritoneal dialysis is usually a daily process, similar to the working of the kidney, and may be more gentle with fluid removal from the body. Peritoneal dialysis is an effective form of dialysis and has been proven to be as good as hemodialysis. Please keep in mind though, peritoneal dialysis is not for everyone. People must receive training and be able to perform correctly each of the steps of the treatment. Interested in learning more? Visit the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois website today.